Hello, my name is Marissa Gallegos and I work for the National Association for Family Child Care as an Accreditation Program Coordinator. We, I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch this short video. If you're watching this video, it's probably because you've just started self-study and you would like to get to know a little bit more about the materials in your self-study kit. I would like to take a moment to explain what each piece is and how you can use it. The first part of the self-study kit is the binder. The three ring binder will have a cover similar to this one with the name of our organization and the accreditation seal. On the back of the binder, you will find our address and contact information. This binder will be used to keep all of your materials organized, safe, and in one location. If you happen to have another binder where you keep your materials, you are free to use it. But we have provided this one to be used as a tool and an aid to you if you choose to use it. When you open up the binder, the very first document you will find is a welcome letter. We want to congratulate you on this first big step to starting your accreditation. We know that it can be daunting and confusing, so in this letter we have included the three best ways you can find out more information and guidance if you get stuck. First is the NAFCC Accreditation Candidates in Process Facebook page. On this webpage, you can interact with other providers who are currently going through the self-study process, as well as other providers who have gone through the process before that can help you with your questions. The accreditation program coordinators facilitate the page and also help to answer questions and give updates about upcoming webinars and additional information that you may want to know about NAFCC. The second resource is our accreditation at nafcc.org email. This can be used for basic questions that will be responded to by one of the program coordinators or receptionists here at NAFCC. The final resource listed on this letter is our phone number. Underneath the welcome letter, you will find the Getting Started and Self-Study, easy as one, two, three document. This letter includes our recommendations for what your first three steps should be. We will come back to this later as it will make more sense after getting to know each of the materials inside of your binders. After those first couple of introductory documents, you should have six copies of this book, The Parent Guide to NAFCC Accreditation. The Parent Guide to NAFCC Accreditation is meant to be shared with the parents in your program so they can get an understanding of what it means when you tell them, I'm working on my accreditation. The Parent Guide briefly covers what NAFCC and NAFCC accreditation is and why they should choose nationally accredited child care as their child's choice in care. It also covers how they can help you achieve your accreditation and how they can become advocates for family child care. We hope that as they read this guide, they will be excited about the benefits they will see in their child's daycare experience, such as the improved communication you will have with them or the new additions your program will implement. You can start sharing these guides with parents once you yourself have a basic enough understanding of what you will be doing with self-study and your accreditation. The next book you will find in your binder is the Benchmarks to Quality Spiral Bound Book. The Benchmarks to Quality is where you will find all of the quality standards. They are divided into four levels, level one being the easiest of standards to complete and level four being the most difficult. Basically, it is your workbook that will help you make sure that you know and understand all of the standards required for accreditation. It will help you to measure your progress as you work on each standard. For more information about the Benchmarks to Quality and a step-by-step -step guide of how to work through it, you can refer to our um, Developing Your Quality um, Development Report webinar. If you're interested in seeing all of the standards in one place, rather than jumbled up, we do offer a PDF file on our website that lists them in numerical order. To access this page, you will go to www.nafcc.org and then hover over accreditation. The first drop-down option is getting started and you will click on that to be led to this page where you see here, what you see in front of you. Under the resource column, you will click on quality standards for NAFCC accreditation. Following the parent guides and the benchmarks to quality, you will find a stack of loose leaf papers entitled The Provider Guide to Achieving NAFCC Accreditation. This publication is a how-to manual to help you work through and achieve accreditation. Its chapters will explain in depth what accreditation is and why it is important. What are the quality standards and how to use them? How to use the benchmarks to quality. How to fill out your application and prepare for your observation visit and what to do to maintain your accreditation, as well as how to create a professional portfolio and market your program. Remember the getting started with self-study easy as one, two, three document I showed you at the beginning? If you want to refer back to it, it lists the document I showed you 
or it lists the reading, the provider guide as the first step to understanding accreditation. Behind the provider guide, you will see labeled tabs and sheet protectors. These are provided to help protect and store the documents that you will collect as you work through self-study. If you go back to the front of your binder now, in the front flap you will in the front flap behind the accreditation candidates process and sticker, you will see a copy of this letter, which is an invitation to access the e-self-study portal. If you provided an email with your self-study enrollment form, you will have access to your self-study materials online as well as this physical kit. I now want to take you out of this PowerPoint presentation to walk you through how to enter our website and access these materials using your self-study login information. Alrighty, so once you log on to, to NAFCC.org, you will um, want to hover over accreditation and scroll down to My Self Study. Once you click on that, below the My Self Study bar, there is a link that says Login to eSelf Study. Once you click on that, it will give you the option to go ahead and put in your login information. The login information um, you can find on either this letter that you've received in your self-study kit or you can um, um, call us here at the office if um, you by chance don't have your, your letter with you or you can check your email. So I'm just going to log in. Alrighty, so sometimes it will bring you back to the front page, sometimes it will take you straight to your um, eSelf study, but if it does bring you back to this page, you'll go back to accreditation and my self study, and then just click back log into eSelf study, and then it should change to your logged in information. Um, what you will see here at the top is the welcome and a little um, note from us here at NAFCC, and then these three columns I will go ahead and walk through and explain. So the first one is entitled the self-study kit. This provides all of the information that you receive in your physical kit just in an in internet format. So the first one is the provider guide, so you could click on each individual chapter to read about um, each chapter in a different um, web page. After that, there's the parent guide, and then below these, there are two documents here that are not included in um, physical format, so you might wanna come and check these out. The first one is the NAEYC Code of Ethical Conduct. This is important and good to read when you sign your application. You will need to sign this Code of Ethical Conduct, so that is a good um, resource to read up on. Um, the second one is the quality standards for NEFCC accreditation. This has all of our quality standards listed in numerical order and in order of section. So there's a relationship standards, the environment standards, developmental learning activities, safety and health, and professional business practices. So if you prefer to see the standards listed in numerical order or in order of um, their category, you can find it here at the Quality Standards for NEFCC Accreditation. And then the benchmarks to quality we talked about it is the quality standards just listed in levels from easiest to hardest instead of numerical order as it is in, the, um, in this format here. If we scroll back up to the top and go through the second, um, the second block, um, I like to change this um, from time to time just to have a featured standard um, or some information about what's going on here at NAFCC. So you want to check in every so often to see if I have any information um, or new research about a specific standard. So for the past few months, we've had um, 3.56 as a featured standard that um, talks about um, crawling babies spending uh, a sufficient amount of time on their stomachs so they can um, develop uh, their head and neck control, um, like what most people like to call a tummy time. Alrighty, in the last section, there is the option if you speak Spanish or prefer to read your materials in Spanish, you can click Estudio Personal Español and it will change the language to Spanish. If you accidentally press it or decide you want to go back to English, you can click Self Study in English and it will take you back to English. Um, below, this is um, you can join the Candidates in Process Facebook page, just a reminder of that. And then basically what's over here are, are the documents that you um, will need um, for, 
for your application or learning more about the credit process as a whole. So there's a little bit more information about self-study, the application, observation visits and updates, and then down here is the actual application form and the forms you will need to fill out your application. And then here at the bottom if you need to contact me, your self-study specialist, uh, my information is down here below. So basically that is the e-self-study site. Um, if you have any questions you are always free to reach out to me. Let's go back to our PowerPoint now for a second. Alrighty, so thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any further questions, this is our accreditation team, Alicia Platt, the Accreditation Operations Manager, and then Fernando Melcor and myself, Marissa Gallegos. If you have any questions, feel free to email us um, or to give us a call at our extensions. And then also you can always reach out to us at NAFCC Accreditation Candidates in Process on Facebook. Um, we are continually on there. Um, answering your questions and we hope that you'll join that community and thank you again so much for watching this video.